I'm now delighted to be able to introduce the Minister for Trade, Investment and Small Business, Mervyn Davies, Lord Davies of Abersock, who's here today um, to talk to us about uh, the economic situation, what the government is doing to, to help us to succeed at this time. The UK is a hugely innovative and creative economy. Britain right across the board has got strength and, and innovation and is a leader. This is the, the long-term tests where we put out samples of the technology. It's air and hydrogen mixed together in the fuel cell, electrochemical reaction, 17 kilowatts of power and no emissions at all. And if you really wanted to, you could drink the water, but it needs reionizing. We need to realize that Britain excels in education and universities. This is yet another example of British innovation you know, cutting edge technology, great entrepreneurial spirit. We need to celebrate some of the success that Britain has with companies like this. I mean, this is a great company. Yeah, no, I'm very hugely impressed. And I think the thing one realises right across the UK and in this East Midlands region particularly, Britain is a um, major manufacturer. We're still the sixth largest manufacturer in the world and it's still a, a, a hugely important part of our GDP and our economy. Lord Davis, Madison. Thank you. We're on the cusp of a new, new order and a new cooperation around the world with limitless possibilities. And for those of you that are embarking on a future in business or whatever, you have to be international if you're going to compete. More often than not, people think, well, loft insulation is very easy. We just simply roll it out and we smile and we leave and everybody's nice and warm. But there's a lot more for us to contend with. What is this then, this it, material? A lot it of it is, is recycled uh, glass crushed, bottles. Crushed and bottles and, stuff, and, yeah, and... Which is then uh, melted down to a, you know, and, and, and put through a spinner. Um, like making candy for us, right? Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Solar hot water, for instance, is very plumbing based, and we, we employ guys with experience in plumbing. Those are actually solar panels as well. Connecting that to your. Yes, it goes well, into a cylinder. Well, we'll, we'll take you through here and we'll show you. It goes you into what? what? It goes in. into your hot water cylinder. So what we've actually got is we've got the cylinders on the roof which actually contain a, a, a glycol, a, yeah, yeah. a fluid which collects the heat and we replace your standard uh, hot water cylinder with a dual um, coil cylinder. And down the bottom here um, is the one that's connected up to your panels on the roof and then we have a pump station which is usually mounted in the loft space which pumps the fluid round and it works a bit like a preheater, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. kettle, uh, if you oh, will, if you leave it to boil and then switch it on, it yeah. takes less time to boil. Still connected to the boiler, so if, if we aren't getting enough energy from the sun, then which you'll occasionally get happens, um, uh, huh. <laughs> then it will top up and it will make sure that we've got hot water. The installation, the buying of this tank, you know, the buying of the, all done through you. Yes. So it is a total service for a, you know, it, oh, right, right. Um, this vehicle here is a heat seekers vehicle. We have a fleet of these vehicles, and what we do is we work with local authorities. Working at night time and during the heating season, one of these vehicles can go out at night and survey, yes. thermal image, a thousand properties an hour. Unbelievable. And assess them for their insulation condition. Today I've met engineering companies, I've uh, obviously spoken at Nottingham University. I think the message is very clear that we've got so much to be proud of in Britain and, and this company, like the, the others that I've seen, just highlight um, you need to get in amongst them to understand some of the challenges, but also some of the opportunities. So a great day here in uh, Loughborough and Nottingham, and uh, I've learnt a lot. And now I need to take some of the messages and uh, take them back to government and uh, make sure I deliver. Thank you. <laughs>